Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's you? It's you. Yes. The Arch-Canon is his private quarters, but he very much wishes to speak with you, but I am to warn you, avoid confrontations with the Ordinators at all costs. The arch -Cannon has spoken with the high fane Ordinators, but if you are a wanted criminal, they may try to arrest you with the blood of the faithful servants of the Temple is spilled. It will make a reconciliation all that much more difficult. Will you sell me spells? You will. Wow. Uh, spell absorption. I don't think I have a spell absorption. I'll take that. Um, restore health. Sure, restore all that good stuff. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, you didn't have anything particularly good, though. Uh, from what I understand, it's on the east side here. Have, oh, shit. Alright, so. I need to go in here. No, wrong button. My crime has been reported. But I made it. What's up? The temple's doctrine on the narrow brain. The temple must protect the people from false doctrines, and your association with Imperial Intelligence makes your motivations and integrity suspect. But you have been so chosen a hortator and nervine by the Dunmer people, and we have reached a crisis with Dagath Er. We can no longer defend the people against the awakened Six South. You and your prophecies may rep represent our last hope. Our situation is best desperate, but I would rather have you hear the details of our situation and the circumstances leading up to the sa that situation from Lord Vivek himself. He's asked to see you. Would you agree to a private meeting with him and hear in person what he has to say? Yeah, I'll meet with him. Okay, here are two keys. One is to the ba private back entrance to my quarters. The other to a locked entrance to Lord Vivek's palace. I regret that at present. The Ordinators are not completely under my control, so for now, I ask you to avoid confrontations with them. Lord Vivek is expecting you. His lordship is remarkably patient, but perhaps it would be better not to keep him waiting. Uh, which basically means you could probably keep him waiting forever and he would never notice. Alright, let's go through here. And outside. And run across. <laughs> Hopefully by the time I get up to, the, to talk to Vivek, the battle music will have stopped. It has. Hooray. And now... Hooray. Dude. What the hell? This guy looks awesome! Whoa. Look at that, he's got like two different colors on. What is up, Vivek? I expected you. We have business, you and I. Okay, look at me. Okay. Was there something else? Business. When I was young like you, I was very impatient. As am I. So I will keep our business short. Good. Then, later, there may be time for other things. First, I propose to remove my curse upon the Nerevarine and the persecution of the dissident priests and proclaim to all Morrowind that you James are Durand. the incarnate and Nerevarine. Hooray! The savior of Morrowind the last hope to withstand the menace of Dagathor and the Sixth House. These things I will do, whether you wish or not. Well, good! Even though his voice is a little weird, to be honest with you. I'm not that big of a fan of it. It's kind of distant, not necessarily powerful. So, uh, I don't know if that's going to fix the Ordinators or not. I have a feeling that it's not, to be honest with Next. you. I propose to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagothor. No problem. You may choose to refuse. I will not compel you. Right. You will receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called Wraith God. What? You may accept the gift okay. and do with it as you will. You will receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath, then keep it. Or break it as you like. Then what's the point of the oath? First, will you accept Great God as a gift? Uh, sure. I will take your shit. Good. Sensible of you. If, you're, if it's free. Now will you give your oath for all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible, before my honor and your honor, to dedicate yourself and Great God to the 
defeat and destruction of Dark Ador, and the preservation of Morrowind and its people. Um, that sounds fine. Sure. Not very sensible, but very good. I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. You will now have a brief momentary sensation of time passing. What? Don't be alarmed. You are being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use Great God. It will be over before. What? There is a brief sensation of motion in total darkness. Floating narrator. without a sense of weight or direction. There's a narrator? You know it now. I will notify the temple that you are our champion. There shall be no more persecution of the dissident priests. Hooray. And I hope both sides shall swiftly be reconciled. Reconciled. We have time for questions if you like. Or you may leave as you wish. But I think there are at least two things you ought to know before you leave. How to use Wraith Guard and how to defeat Dagoth. That probably would be helpful if you told me, you know, how to do it, especially if you're saying there's some kind of trick. To defeat Dagoth Or, go to Red Mountain to Fair recover enough. the artifact hammer Sunder from Gate Citadel Vaminal. Okay. Then recover the artifact blade Keenan from Gate Citadel Oversal. Then proceed with Great Guard, Sunder, and Keening. To the citadel of Dagothu. This is all gonna be in my journal, Within right? The citadel, find the heart of Lorcan. Oh. Use the three artifacts to sever Dagothu's connection to the heart, and he will be destroyed. And the blight ended on Morrowind. We'll see if that actually does it. To destroy Dagothu, you must sever his connection with the heart of Lorcan. That's what you just said. To do this. Strike the heart with the artifact hammer sunder once. Okay. Then strike the heart more than once with the artifact blade keening. Okay. You must wear Wraith Guard. Because you cannot handle either sunder or keening unless you are wearing Wraith Guard. That is the short, simple explanation. Here is the long, detailed explanation. Written down <laughs> for your convenience. <laughs> Read it. Study it. Commit it to memory. See, now that makes it either sound like they didn't pay the voice actor enough. He's like, I'm not reading all that shit. Just write it down for them. Or they were just like, we know that this, uh, this explanation is taking too damn long. We're sorry for bothering you. Here it's all written so you can do it on your own time. Uh, do you have any counsel for me? You need to know. Where is Dagothur? Holy crap, look what at all that stuff. Are Dagothur's plans? Who are Dagothur's servants? Who is Dagothur? Right. What are Dagothur's powers? Let me take what you. is known about Dagothur's defense? Is he weak to Hope's fire? How can I prepare for battle against Dagothur? Who can help? That was a lot of stuff. Apparently they didn't underpay the voice actor. Where is he? Dagothur has never ventured out of the heart chamber. Right. The place on the Red Mountain where the heart of Lorcan lies. It is there, or nearby, that he is constructing a new god. A new god? A Kula Khan. A Kula Khan? Also known as Second Numidium. Not the Second Numidium. How dare he? What are his plans? We know nothing for sure. But we have learned much from interrogating Sixth House cultists and victims of dream compulsions. What? And from our study of Dagothur's actions. The temple scholars and inquisitors have prepared a document, Dagothur's plans, that summarizes what we know or suspect. Take this copy. It's also available in my library. For 1999. Um... So you guys just went out of your way to write a... Okay, write a little thing. Where are his servants? Chief among his servants are his seven brothers, the Ash Vampires. Vampires? Powerful heart whites 
and cunning sorcerers of old. Okay. These creatures appear to die, but always are revived at the heart. Somehow Dagalgur has conferred some portion of his immortality upon them. Or perhaps they sustain themselves through more conventional sorcery. So... Not the Dagoths that I keep on fighting? Uh, who is he? Dagoth is the former Lord High Counselor of House Dagoth. He was of Lord Nerevar's generation, older than we, and a mighty sorcerer and enchanter in life. In his sustained shadowy mortality, he appears to be a highly intelligent, severely deluded immortal monster. With unparalleled supernatural abilities. Like what? He appears by turns lucid and deranged, compassionate and bestial, bestial. profoundly wise and profoundly oh. disordered. In short, he is a mad god. Uh, the last mad god I found was dead. And then I had to kill the other one, actually. Uh, where are his powers? He is able to send his mind into the dreams of susceptible victims across vast distances. Oh no! The victims are either swayed by his compulsions or driven mad. Neither. He also seems nearly invulnerable to physical and magical harm. That's no good. His flesh and the flesh of his followers evolves towards a mutable, magical form. Does host fire work? And the highest ranks can control the distorted manifestations of their flesh. Lower ranks lose control of their bodies and become mindless, corporate monsters. And I know some of the other Dagoths that I fought that I fought were pretty much in control. Where are his defenses? These are these are taking a little bit. And we got three more to go though. Confer with the ordinary boy and armor girls. Garrisoning Ghost Gate for the latest information about the defenses of the citadels of Dagadur and his hard white king. Okay, so there's going to be ordinators at the Ghost Gate. This could be bad for me. Um, how do I prepare for battle? Prepare for war. Beyond the Ghost Fence, there are no safe places. There was a Ghost Gate. No allies. Stockpile resources. Plan for retreat and replenishment. Quest for artifacts of power. I should have plenty by now. And who can help me? Coordinators and no. boy and armigers stationed at Ghost Gate have the most practical knowledge of the nightmare world inside the ghost fence. Seek them in my name for counsel and aid. Alright, it seems like we have talked to this guy enough. We have definitely talked to this guy enough. You take too long! Oh shit! Damn! Vivek doesn't fuck around! Oh god, I figured it was worth a shot. I may come back and do that. Le you know, legitimately trying later, but good lord, that guy was tough! You still mad, buddy? Nah, he's good. He's good. Alright, uh, we will see if the Ordinators are still pissed at me. Chances are they are. And then uh, we will see about heading forward from here. Yeah, it sounds like they're still pissed at me. You guys still, you guys still upset? Yes, yes they are. Okay, so uh, as James Duran flees for his life away from the Ordinators, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Morrowind. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Ordinator Fleer, James Duran, Neverine Hortator, Potential Slayer of Dagathar. We will see when we fight him eventually. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. <laughs> Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.